in a muri. The Japanese don't take a nap, they take in a muri. A doctor explains the difference with the Western nap. The Japanese don't sleep, they don't take naps, they make in a muri. This widespread practice consists of falling asleep in public, in the middle of a conference, for example, or at school or on public transport. No one seems to pay much attention to it. Japan is one of the countries where we sleep the least in the world due to the pressing pace of work and sleeping in public is almost a sign of honor, proof that we are exhausted from having worked so hard and that one deserves an award. BBC Future has analyzed this phenomenon, discovering, thanks to Dr. Bridget Steger, senior lecturer in modern Japanese studies at the University of Cambridge, what is hidden behind the Japanese art of not sleeping. The contradiction is clear. The Japanese, proud of being hard workers and ready to reach their limit of strength in order to satisfy the demands of a boss, see sleeping for a long time as a sign of weakness. Yet they have no qualms about falling asleep in front of everyone. If sleeping in bed is considered something for laziness, why isn't sleeping during an event or at work instead seen as an expression of indolence? Asks the doctor in the article. What's the point? He continues. For children to stay up late studying and then fall asleep during lessons? After years of investigating the reasons, the researcher believes she has come to understand what lies behind this phenomenon and what lessons we could draw from it. In the West, the nap is not cleared as in Japan. The inamuri is not considered sleeping at all. It is seen differently from sleeping, as one might sleep at night, ed, and also from taking a nap. What sense could we give it? A clue is found in the word, made up of two parts, I which means to be present in a situation and namuri which means to sleep. The inamuri is, therefore, considered as a moment for oneself, to which everyone is free to indulge when they want and which does not disturb the social situation, just like daydreaming. Although the person is mentally distant, he can return, as soon as requested, to the social moment he is experiencing, he continues. Even the posture can remain the same. It is not uncommon to see workers in suits sleeping standing or sitting at their workstations. The Japanese, however, do not conceive inamuri as a nap. It is simply a temporary absence from the body after hours and hours spent working or studying. This is why it is tolerated without problems, because it is the most evident sign of extreme tiredness, a way to abandon one's tasks for a moment and then return to it immediately afterwards. This is a concept that is still very far from the idea of the Western nap. The Japanese, concludes the researcher, do not sleep and do not take naps. They make in a muri. It couldn't be more different.